You boys ready? Yeah. We need to get this out of our system. We need we need to find some stripey boys that are hungry and willing to feed. The cape is looking extra capey this morning. It's calm, cloudy, and fishy. I feel the fish in the air. I smell it. I kind of taste. You guys taste that? Maybe that was just the uh, no. Dunkin' Donuts no. or yeah. coffee that I had this morning. But it tastes like something. We're uh, we're headed out to the bay right now to see if we can redeem ourselves from a kind of a slow start. We do have two 30 inch plus fish to our name, which is quite nice. Carl's biggest ever. Um, my biggest of the trip, obviously. I think mine was like close to 36. Um, but we're after the, uh, the big 20s, the big 30s that are lurking in here. Like I've mentioned before, they're making their big migration from the cold northern waters back down south. And uh, we're hoping to stumble upon some absolute giants. Ultimately looking forward to watching these guys fish too. Uh, I know Carl was very stoked to catch that big, big fish, but they get much bigger. So we're prepped ready to go, first light. First light action, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for any sort of surface activity, pay attention to our electronics and see if we can make something happen today. <sighs> I love the cape, man. This is gonna be exciting. Oh my God. Still there, killed? Hold, hold, are they down on the bottom? No. Three or four feet off. Yeah. Someone throw that big top water just right behind the boat. Right there, that one right there. Sure. Holy big ones. Oh my gosh, we just stumbled upon. On the way out of here, we just found some pretty big fish lurking on the bottom. They're big striper. Work it a little slower because they are deep water. So much going on right now. I got my friend Bobby on channel 81. He's down that way, but uh, seeing these fish on the bottom really makes me curious. Oh yeah, they're right down there. Yep, good ones too. Still getting me. I'm all the way up and down now with the canal. Um, sitting here, tide still coming out. Just marked a pile of big fish. No action though yet. Awesome, we, uh, we also marked some fish on bottom. We're probably gonna give them two seconds and then head your way. them for sure they just weren't they were glued glued to the bottom and then we just shot over here all right right now we're sitting and waiting for something to occur keeping our eyes on the surface watching the birds also seeing if there's anything on the bottom there are birds over here but they haven't made an advance on the surface nature is an incredible thing what, we, what you have here is the outflow of the Cape Cod Canal and where we're at is where all the bait and the striper get dumped when when you've got a nice outgoing tide from Cape Cod Bay and when that bait gets in here and it gets in line with the striped bass the striped bass push that bait up to the surface and then as the bait comes to the surface the birds come in and swoop in on the bait and then push them back down it's like this never-ending hell of a life for bunker and mackerel and squid anything that is bite size for birds and, and fish. So uh, right now we're waiting for the bass to push up the bait so the birds can make an advance. And that will give us a visual indication as to whether or not we are in the right area. But there's a myriad of different ways you can catch them. Big top water is my favorite, but of course you can also get down there on the bottom when they're a little less active and catch them on big swim baits. But the fish that should be here, um, the fish that are here should be big, you know, if they're gonna show up today. When they're just not there, they're not there. And if they're not feeding, they're not feeding. You're not gonna force them. What are we doing, John? Tell me. Can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Oh. Mission failure. Met up with uh, a good old friend, Robbie. Such a gem. Robbie, if you're watching this, love you, man. It's always good linking up with him, even for a brief moment on the Cape. Um, we had the anticipation of finding some fish coming out of the canal this morning. 
didn't see one single bent rod. There was probably three dozen boats out there all looking for the same thing and we did not succeed. So now I'm faced with this dilemma. How do we spend the rest of our time? If I was back home in England, pub. Grab a pint with your mates. Yeah. And some peanuts. You you would get on, you would, uh, <laughs> <laughs> some peanuts. You would, uh, get on the a polite Doesn't that mean getting voice. drunk? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. don't get demonetized with naughty words. <laughs> True, good point. We have three options here. And rather than me deciding, I'm gonna let you two to decide because every every decision that I've made this trip has been the wrong has one. been the wrong decision. <laughs> Where's the option where where we catch, fish. catch forty pounds? <laughs> Strike that right there, that in, was it. In the canal. That was that was our that was our, our shot and uh, they weren't coming up for us. So so option option A is same place same as place before. And, sa and option B is new place. Um, I think we should go to a new spot that we haven't been to before. Mm. Because there's a chance it could be better than the spot that we did go to before. Okay. Yeah. And I don't want to go to a pub because... New, new places. I knew that. New, well, a, new experience. <laughs> new place? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, new place. Pulled a bit of an audible. We're leaving the boat on the trailer, meeting up with uh, my friend Robbie on the bank. We're going to give the canal another shot. We've been popping in and out of here occasionally just to see if anything's going on. The tide's going to be pushing back through the opposite direction from where the boat was positioned this morning. So those fish could just be hanging in the canal and that's why we didn't see them in that one location. Also catching a big striped bass from the bank is a lot of fun and it's something I really want these guys to experience, but it can very much be a hit or miss program. Got an hour or so to kill. Let's give it a shot. Another strike, man. So many strikes. We had to we had to give it a shot though. It's like this is what fishing is all about. If you're not making an attempt on a hunch or an ambition or uh, some sort of feeling that you have, then you're never gonna yield that success of catching a fish. But oftentimes that means striking out and having moments like this where you're just constantly scratching your head to oblivion. I'm not sure if you guys realize how badly we want to bite. I did a little scientific experiment whilst these guys were fishing of the. Uh of the Massachusetts people, and 90% of them replied when I said good morning to them. 90%? Yeah. Pretty good uh, Pretty good ratio. That's, that's a decent percentage, seeing as everyone I've waved at this trip has looked at me like I've got a giant mole on my forehead. Alex has caught some good vibes. Carl and I have caught absolutely jack f um, What are you guys feeling? I'm feeling good now. I've had some good interaction with the Local there is one really good thing actually. You didn't make the wrong call this time. I suggested it though, which I think is equally equal to blame. Where else can we go to not catch fish? Do we want to do we want to keep fishing or do we want to take a break? Keep fishing. Never stop. Okay, I like that answer. found an absolute wad of them and they're big too in the same spot I caught my big one at two days ago and we're Carl caught his big one and uh, they're just in a real negative mood we threw the drone up and we could see them we were just suspicious because we weren't getting any bites so one great way to confirm whether or not there is fish in the area where you thought there was fish is throw the drone up and it's actually kind of depressing knowing that you're on fish and they're just not willing to eat I don't know I've switched to something really tiny now see if that makes a difference um, Not the, not the Cape Cod experience I expected, but that's why you don't come into a fishing trip with any expectations, whether they be good or bad. Big one, big one, man, keep it going. Keep it going, don't stop. Keep it going. You're on, there you go. Nice wow. wow. Nice job. <laughs> what a bite. What a bite. Oh. Better than nothing. As long as they're catching fish, I'm happy. I can come make this trip just about any time. I want, thankful for that, but these guys, uh, this is special. And it's been a slow day, but there are scales in the boat. 
Some of our hands smell like slime, just not more. On the yellow banana. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. No, no, it's not the little guy. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, there's so many. There's so many, and they're all so much bigger than mine. Oh, my gosh. Uh, squeaky McGee. Maybe they're turning on for us. I don't know. I hope they're not because we've been spending so much time out here, but. I've got a stripe. It's been a grueling day, but uh, United States and British double is all you need. They're schoolies, but it's been fun. Kind of a struggle. We still have plenty of time to make some Cape magic happen, but I'm glad that uh, we're not going home empty handed today. I'm going to send my back and uh, I'm going to keep fishing for a little bit longer than grab some grub because. We've been up for what feels like 24 hours. Nice job, homie. Thank you. Bing. There you go. Thank you, man. <sighs> nice, nice little remedy. How is the <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, dude. Is that a big yeah, it is. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. That's a big fish, man. That's a big fish. Keep, keep tension. Keep tension. Holy! That was a giant. <laughs> This might be a big bluefish. Oh no, that's... Keep reeling, keep reeling. Striper or blue? Oh, it's a big striper, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the size of the one behind him. Oh, there's a third one. Okay. Oh my God. It's a 30 incher dog. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Wow, he's Nice massive. job, brother. Here's, he's massive. Take a quick step back. I step back, he's gonna go absolutely oh, absurd. Right. Nice job, good going. Just throw it over the side. Just when we lost hope. <laughs> Look at that fish, man. Look at, their, <laughs> Look at that tail. It's so long. That's bigger than my other one. It might be. Yeah. We'll, we'll tape it, yeah. We'll tape it. PB striped bass. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you, John. Yeah, you so I don't know what I'm doing, but let's put them on the quick, quick measuring tape. We were about to call it in. We're waiting to check into our Airbnb, which is at four, and it's at one. It's one right now, so we thought we'd just kill time in this bay where I've caught them before, and. That's the beauty of saltwater fishing, is a moment like that can happen out of nowhere. Nope, not as quite as your, your big as your other one. It's about 30, 32 and a half inches. You got me good. <laughs> Put it there, man. Thank you so nice much. Nice going. <laughs> Boy, so they wanted to see something very American this week, and uh, it's about the most American thing that I've ever seen. But what, what do you need that for? Because it's thick. Well, this is the way she rolls sometimes. Cape is not being so generous to us, but Carl caught himself a nice 32 inch striped bass, purely out of thin air. Like, I still don't even know how that happened, but we'll take luck over skill any day. Um, we just... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> skill over luck any day, my apologies. Um, as a bit of a celebration, we went and uh, ate at a really solid restaurant on the canal near Sandwich and uh, had a couple of drinks, had some appetizers, ate some seafood. Of course, always have to eat seafood if you're on any coast. And just kind of used, uh, used that as an opportunity to at least cherish that moment. Very much a grind, very uncharacteristic of fishing this time of year, but I'm having fun and it, it's honestly so much more enjoyable watching these guys experience this place opposed to someone like myself experiencing because I've gotten a chance to do it many times. I thoroughly enjoy watching other people catch, you know, their fish, their dreams, their goldfish, and fish they haven't really chased that much before. I mean, you know, you guys, they're from England, and you guys don't get a chance to catch striped bass. We don't have any. There are no striped bass in England. So. Have you considered maybe flying some back in your carry-on? Oh, I wish. Might not be a bad idea. We made you guys in Barnstable. Things were uh, not great, but still solid today. The unofficial church of Cape Cod, Dunkin' Donuts. Seems like this is how everyone gets their day started here in New England. A bagel of donuts, a large black ice, no cream, no sugar. Seems like the past couple mornings we've been on the Cape, Alex has got himself not one, not two, but four donuts to start the day. But he's been getting like, he literally got like four plain donuts yesterday, and then today you got four glaze, which is a, a slight step in the right direction. You gotta try one of these though. On the bottom, there's a Boston cream. It's very fitting because we're just outside of Boston. Oh, that one looks pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what do 
What do you think? It's an odd mix of flavor. It's got, did, you hit, did you hit the cream in the middle? No. It's good though, it's good. It's good, it's tasty. It's an, ins it's an insane way to start your day. Like, here's basically like a cream filled cake. Anyway, works for us. This is the important part. Well, here we are on the old salty pond. This is a completely new tide that we've not fished. We've been fishing a lot of uh, outgoing, almost slack dead low tides in the, in the morning, but this is the first tide that we've gotten to fish where it's high in the morning. So we get to fish this system as the water's flushing out, which is in my opinion, a better tide to fish because at night, in theory, a lot of fish should have come up here with the rising tide. And uh, as it starts to pull out of these marshes and this shallow water areas, um, it'll bring bait with them and the, and the striper just kind of sit in areas where there's current and they will eat. But I've never fished this area, we're in a completely new part of um, the cave, but we're going to give it probably about four hours and see if we can make something happen. I really don't have too many fish in my name this trip. I did catch like a 36 incher, which was cool. But other than that, it's been, uh, it's been pretty slow for Cape standards, man. Oh, there's a striper. Go on. There we go. Right on the shallow edge. Oh, it just came off. That was a big one. That was a big one. There's probably more over there. That was a good one. Yeah, big fish, Alex. Bullsh. <laughs> 800,000. Yeah. That's more than a house. Yeah. We'll look at their house. Oh striper, striper, oh, striper. Oh, God. Good striper. Come on. There we go. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Good angling. Fine. Oh, oh, you're joking. Bad angling. I'm going to bite out here on this as well. Yeah. I, th I thought I saw you strike. Yeah. Before you um, lost my bit. Um, big top water. Big top water, yeah. Just. Oh, my God. Again. Yeah. We're still on it. Dude, holy hell. He's got it. Oh, that's such a sicky. <laughs> Just a wee little dude, but man, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Oh, we finally found a little group of fish. Usually when we find a group of fish, it's it's like flurry for literally 30 seconds and then they're gone. But I just uh, I just got boofed on like five times in two casts. It's a good fish, good little bully striper. Honestly, at this point in the trip, we're willing to literally catch any size of bass. It does not matter how big or small. Little schoolie. We'll take him. First fish of the day. Any action is good action, even if it's a little 18 incher. Beautiful fish. Wow. So much fun. These guys are tight. Look at the water. It's so clean back here because um, where we're fishing, there's a ton of oyster pods where people are farming oysters, and oysters actually clean the water. So it's actually some of the cleanest water we fished this trip. Hey, what are there? Well done, John. Let's get some more. Mm. Catching stripers in front of $10 million homes on the cave. That's one way to make you feel really poor. <laughs> new pond, new tide, who dis? Got some wind blowing in too, which is, oh my God. <laughs> I can barely, they're freaking bluefish, of course. Of course they're bluefish. I, I really don't want to deal with this. I don't know why I just cast it in there. <laughs> Oh, bum sauce. <laughs> Literally all we can catch this trip from micro bluefish. <laughs> At least the rod is bent. Oh. It's funny, for their name, they're not very blue, are they? Oh, what? Oh, there you go, fluke. <laughs> nice job, dude. Cool. Look at that. That's a fluke. Look at that. Really cool. There's a lot of fish in there. Okay, then. That's not what I was expecting. How'd you hold these things? <laughs> Uh, you just kind of like, like a plate. Hey John, we run over your bluefish. That's all right. We flattened it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of mad though, isn't it? They're so cool, man. They're really cool fish. Now, am I supposed to hold them like that? Yeah, like, actually for the, for the photo. Actually, some people. Oh, them. okay. So, like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> now we just got to present our lures over the top. 
and hopefully get hit. And I think we are gonna get hit. Oh, I got one too. Oh, oh I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one. Finally, this is the remedy for the slow Cape Cod bite blues. Just want to give a shout out to my buddy Robbie for suggesting the spot. I've fished ponds adjacent to this one, but never this particular little bay. It's a lot bigger than anything we fished all trip. And uh, with this strong incoming tide, the fish seem to be very active, which is good. The birds are working. We've finally got some good overcast opposed to fog. And I think it's really helping our, our mission here. That's a solid, solid striper. Well, that's a oh, Decent. <sighs> solid slot fish. I think we went from zero to hero just in a couple of freaking hours. We're on a massive feed. I'm gonna get some shots of this fish and uh, send them back. It's like pretty much our final day here on the Cape and we're doing it right. Woo! Spectacular. <laughs> Good stuff, boys. Well done, John. Oh, they're going right behind that boat. Oh, oh. that didn't look like a bluefish. No, that did not look like a bluefish. They still, oh wow, those are not bluefish. Sorry, you go. Sorry. Cool. Just gonna go right over you. Yeah. Oh, that was a striper. That was a striper. striper. Oh, another striper. Oh, they're here. They're oh, they're here. here. They're oh, yeah. Here. These are strikers. These are stripers. Ah! These are all stripers. It's gonna happen. Come on. Oh, they're going everywhere, man. This Surely. is so cool. This is what we needed to see all week. Come on. There we go. Got one. Go going. Yeah. Man. There we go. That's a striper. I believe. This is awesome. Whew. This feels so good. Finally get some bent rods. It's fun to use the, like the light action seven foot rods too for these fish. You know, slot fish are a lot of fun, but when you uh, when you uh, dumb it down a little bit, they can be even more tight. This is just actually a little schooly. We were trying to, I was having a hard time getting the bass amongst the bluefish, but this little feeding frenzy over here seems to just be decent sized bass. Here you go. Thank you, stripey boy. <laughs> yes, yes. The weather's completely changed on us, and that's all you need sometimes with saltwater fishing. We've had like three days straight of abnormally nice October weather here in New England, and uh, sometimes that's not good. These fish want those cooler, cloudy conditions. It sends bait up shallow, and on top of that too, we have some solid tidage going right now, and ultimately it's made for a recipe for a striped bass disaster. <laughs> As I'm talking, Carl's not getting blown up. It's just, we're really surrounded by bait and fish. And the best way to get them, in my opinion, to get fired up is just to throw a little pencil popper, a single hook in the back, a little treble in the front. Um, sometimes the dock works good too. It, it basically eliminates your shot at getting smaller fish and a lot more fish, but it's a good way to get big bites. Um, and you know, there's definitely some slot fish in here, maybe even bigger. We're seeing some huge blow ups. It's a mixture of different sizes. Striper will sometimes roll in different tiers and classes of fish. Like you get like an 18 incher and the next cast could be like a 40 incher, it's weird. But, and these saltwater ponds usually get smaller fish. Doesn't mean you can't still find a behemoth, which we're after currently. these guys we're gonna make the most of that today they, they got to get to Logan tonight at some point but I figured along the way we'd stop off and do some more fishing as a nice little end cap not that we need to because yesterday's feed was pretty solid um, but this weather is beautiful quote-unquote beautiful and I need to take advantage of it we just dropped the whaler in and uh, we've returned to the same pond that we had our successful evening by that. And we look over to the left and the birds are flocking. We're seeing bait spray. There's striper in here. This will be our last day and probably our best day at a shot of a, a really nice feed. It's crazy to think that the good weather actually brought in very terrible fishing, but now that things have turned for quote unquote the worse, um, it's got the fish going. I should probably shut up. Let's hop in the boat and rip over there and see if we can seize this little bit of a flurry. Final day, let's do it. 
achieved this donut. Re oh, no. They, I got, whoa, they are really Oh, my gosh. Really they're going off right now, man. Oh! Was that on you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh! Ah! <laughs> this is so sick. They're very okay. fired up right now, man. They are very fired up right now. Just how we left them last oh. last night. Oh, come on. Oh, I got him. There we go. Let's go, baby. Woo! That was fun. That was fun. Just a schoolie in the midst of giants. There's some big fish down here, man. Oh, 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 oh. You got a good one on you. Keep working. Oh. <laughs> First fish of the day. Took no time at all. Literally right where we left off. This bad weather is producing quite a nice feed and we're back to throwing surface lures. I think I might have just gotten the smallest fish out of the group, of course, but a fish is a fish and uh, the last day we will not be coming back to Boston empty handed. Come here little guy. School is for days. Nice little 18 incher. Hell yeah brother. Oh you got one on you? Yeah. You got one on you? <clears throat> He's still on it. Oh I see the head wake. They just will not commit to that bait over here like they have been. Oh, oh. Wait, he had a gun. Yeah, he opened his mouth. Oh, I got one on me. Oh, oh come on. Oh. oh wow. Ah. <laughs> Decent. Just it made a minor adjustment to a smaller top water, similar size to the bunker that they're eating. And uh, that was enough to dupe them. It's funny, like the big docks, the big spooks that we have been catching fish on this trip, um, just don't do as good right here because they're so keyed in on little, little tiny bunker. And what bunker is, um, is it's basically just like a little tiny shed. Wow, this thing is, this thing's got some bump for the size. A little bit better than the last one. Fishing is all about making adjustments, whether that be changing your leader size, uh, switching spots, or in this case, just making a minor adjustment to the size and color of your lure. Yeah, that was enough. I wasn't getting any bites in the pencil popper. I kind of slowed the bait down a bit. Just switched to a smaller size topwater spook. Let's get him in the boat. That's a decent fish. Another solid little saltwater pond schoolie. They are magnificent fish. I love them. Uh, got one now. At least one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, they see something we don't. I'm so bad at that. Why do they <laughs> always do that? <laughs> One day in my life, I'll have a photo of me holding a striped bass, but until I learn how to hold on to it, at least you got him in the boat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one, dude. It's a big one. It's a giant. It's a giant. Keep that thing pinned. It's a big one. It's a big one, brother. That's a giant fish. Play with your drag if you think it's too tight. No, it's fine. Okay, that's a big fish, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's more. There's, there's more. more. Oh, oh, God, dude, it's a big, you have a giant fish on. Oh, it's a good fish. 30 inch all day. Keep away from the trolling motor. Walk around me if you need to. Good fish, brother. That's awesome. Let's go, baby. Yeah, that's a good one. He looked way bigger when he ate. Uh, the... He came the whole way out. I know. I, thought, I, thought, I saw his tail. I'm like, that's like, that's a giant fish. 30 inch all day, though. Slotty. Slot fish. <laughs> Not too bad if I got him. Wow. We figured it out on the tail end of our trip, but man, it was worth the grind. We really put in some hours. These guys really um, kept with it and um, put up with my, my antics of just jumping from pond to pond. <laughs> lots of early mornings. Lots of early mornings, lots of fishless days, but this is cool that we're getting a nice send off. Solid slot fish right there. There's bigger ones, and uh, oh, they're busting. We should get this fish back and uh, keep cranking. Hey, man, nice job. Don't hit a bird, don't hit a bird, don't hit a bird. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. There we go. Good fish, too. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was technically a double. <laughs> This is amazing. Another slot fish. Oh. <laughs> Get another one. Oh, oh, oh! Good one, dude. Another nice one. You got another nice 30 inch. This is a double. This is a double. This is a legit this double. This is a legit double, man. Oh. This Oof. is what you told me about. Yes. Yes. This, this, is, this is this is what it's like, man. This is what it's supposed to be like. Unbelievable. <sighs> Nicely done. I got your rod. 
Oh, he does look different. What's going on there? He's got an interesting scale pattern. Hey. This might be our first official double. There's been moments in this trip where we've both hooked up fish and then lost them, but first time we both have one in the boat. Yeah, man. My one's a bit scrappy. <laughs> yeah, he's got some, it'll turn him over. He's got like weird scales. Of... Nice little high 20 inch bass. Such great power and force and beauty all matched into one bundle of bass. See you later. Mwah. Carl, bing bong, baby, bing bong. This is why we came to the cave. Oh. This might be our last shot of the feed. We're trying to get one more stripe before we sneak out of here and head back to Boston to drop these guys off at the airport. It's just been such a, a nice cap to our trip. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Very big. Very nice. Very voluptuous. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, nice one. Not a bad fish. Oh my god. On you too. Oh, right in front of us. That feels kind of blue fish. No, it's a nice stripper. Strippers. That's what you want. Sir. Oh, goodness. I don't know why I didn't bring that. Good one. Sounds good. This is craziness. Another double. The thing that we, like for two days straight, barely had a bite, and now we're doubled up <laughs> on the final minutes of our Cape Cod journey. The old Englanders in the New England territory catching by us. Am I official if I put it like this? Oh, you. <laughs> it's all right. We got a nice one. Let's go get another. Keep going away. Mwah. Thank you. Corpito! Unbelievable. Had to take the boys to Bagel Haven before we leave. It's one of the best places in the Cape for a bagel. How is it? Mm. Uh, good, ton. Crispy onions on top. In fact, it's toasted to perfection. Oh, nice. We both had the same idea. Appreciate it. Hey. Let's uh, let's do this again, but make sure it's not seven years from now. Yeah. Bring it in here, Al. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming. Yeah. You can come to England if you want to. I do. I want to. We should do just a Europe trip. Yeah, somewhere else. Well, yeah. I'm going to miss these boys. It's been seven years since we fished together, but it was like, it was just yesterday. We picked yeah. it right back up and had a lot of fun. And we caught the bass. We did. We, we accomplished what we Got came what we for. came for. Oh. You guys be safe. Take care. <laughs>